Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VBA series that is running into my channel. Friends, this will be the part 4 of this series and we are going to learn more about Visual Basic for applications in this video. So, what we have learned in our previous video, here you can see, we have learned what is VBA, what can you do with a VBA, advantages and disadvantages of VBA, recording the macro, how to test the macro, how to examine the macro, modify the macro and saving the workbooks that contains macros and we have also learned what is the macro security. And I am gonna tell you the brief summary of our next chapters that will be like this. We are going to see how to access the important part of the visual basic editor discover the VBA code modules the sheets that store your VBA code get an overview of the Excel object model discover a bit about two key concepts object properties and methods find out the differences between subroutines and functions I'll cover up these lessons in my next two or three videos so let's check what are we gonna learn in today's lesson? We are going to learn what is the Visual Basic Editor, that is VBE in short form, how to activate the VBE, understanding the VBA components, working with the project window, what's new in the Visual Basic Editor. So let's get back to the Excel interface. So as I have told you in the understanding the macro securities, I have told you that whenever you open an untrusted macro enabled workbook, you will get this option here that is security warning macros has been disabled. So here you have to go to the option and enable this content to get your content actually. So now the macro enabled worksheet has been actually enabled with macros. We are going to learn what is the Visual Basic Editor. The Visual Basic Editor often referred as to the VBE in short form is a separate application where you can write and edit your VBA macros. Beginning with Excel 2013, every workbook displays in a separate window. However, there is only one VBA window and it works with all open excel windows so you can't run the vba separately excel must be running for the vba to run and how to activate the window of vbe the quickest way to activate the vbe is to press alt and f11 key from your keyboard otherwise you can also minimize it and go to the developer tab then click on visual basic it will open the same thing so basically this is the VBE editor that is visual basic editor so let's check what is the VBA components so basically what you are looking here is all the visual basic components this one called the menu bar in the above the VBE menu bar works just like every other menu bar you have encountered it contains command that you use to do things with the various components in the VBE. You also find that many of the menu commands have shortcut keys associated with them. Whenever you click on these options, look at here in the run sub user forms, you have a shortcut key called a5 break, it is control plus break. File, you can go to here and if you press ctrl plus m it will import and file just like that toolbar the standard toolbar which is directly below the menu bar that is this one is one of the four VBE toolbars available you can customize the toolbars move them around like this and put anywhere you want as your preference this one called the project window and this is the properties window you can also move these windows with your cursors right look at here it is now moving and wherever you place it it will be placed automatically like this one so I am putting it where it was it was here so basically this one is the project window that displays a tree diagram that shows every workbook currently open in the Excel 
Double click on every item to expand or contract them within the outline. If the project window is not visible, press Ctrl plus R from your keyboard or go to here view then project editor or project explorer right to hide the project window click the close button from here it will be hidden and if you want to show just click on this project explorer or press ctrl plus r it will be activated again and this one called the code window a code window is where you put the VBA code every object in a project has an associated code window to view an object's code window double click on the object in the project window here if you double click on it the code will be showed unless you have added some VBA code the code with window will be empty like this one here I haven't entered any code here so now let's see what is new in the visual basic editor so friends excel 2007 introduced a brand new user interface menus and toolbars were replaced with a sleek new ribbon user interface but the vbe never got the facelift and has kept the old school menu and toolbar ui the vba programming language has been updated to accommodate the new excel features but nothing else has changed maybe microsoft will eventually get around to updating the vbe one thing that has changed is the help system in the past help information was stored on your computer if you working on 2007 version of excel and you had the option of accessing help via the internet in excel 2013 and above versions all help information is on the internet and is displayed in your web browser in other words you must be connected to the internet in order to access the help system so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with the next part of this video where we will learn the next parts of microsoft excel vba Hopefully you like this video please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends who wants to learn Microsoft Excel VBA from the beginning. I'll come back soon till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.